Let's hear it for Andrew Kennedy. Come on. Yes, it's good to be here. This has got to be the best time ever to be a Latino in America. Yeah. Right? Let me get more specific. This has got to be the best time ever to be a Latino that looks as white as I do in America. I know. Yes. Yo soy Latino. I know. I'm Latino. Look at me. I'm a Latino in disguise. I'm a new kind of Hispanic. Nobody in the current administration is concerned with me at all. <laughs> I am half Colombian and half English, and, and I get it. I came out looking completely white. I, I look so white, when I speak to other Latinos in Spanish, they answer me in English. <laughs> like it was a lucky guess. Mira, tú tienes un reloj, tú me puedes ayudar, tú tienes la hora. ¿Tú sabes qué hora es? Por favor. Yes, it is about... It is about 8.30... Something, I don't know. Didn't I just speak to you in Spanish? Do you know why? Yes, I think you did. I thought it was a mistake. That's what a guy said to me once. <laughs> a mistake with specific regional dialect? <laughs> you know, I thought that was very weird because I say to myself, he even has a specific regional dialect. <laughs> My mother is this five foot tall Colombian woman and my father's Mr. Magoo from England. That's, you know. And I'm the middle of three boys, the whitest, and because of it, my mother's favorite. <laughs> Apparently she's a racist. She's not a racist, obviously, but interesting things always happen when I was with her. Nobody ever thought I belonged to her. When I was a baby, my mother and I were separated at the Miami International Airport for 45 minutes while they figured out she hadn't abducted the white baby. <laughs> Senora, Senora, do the parents of the Swedish baby you have here know you have the child? Senora, do the parents of the Swedish... And my mother's like, este es mi niño, déjame peladito, por favor. Cariño, amor, déjame. My father rolls in, unhands my progeny. This instant, you... I want to start a group called Latinos in Disguise for a Better America. I want to get... I want to get other Hispanics that look as white as I do. To get positions of power. I want to run for governor of Arizona just to mess with that state. And I can get elected. I, I clean up nice. I put a suit. My last name's Kennedy. That's what we do. Kennedys get elected. That is our Jimmy Jam. They'll introduce me as the new governor of Arizona, never expecting me to say, Que todos los mexicanos que quieran venir aquí por gratis, que vengan allá en el rancho grande, allá donde vivía. Look at that white boy talking Spanish. We live in a time where you can't judge people by the way they look anymore. I'm just one example. I'm just one example. I was at a Pizza Hut Express. I know, I don't even know why they call it that. It's, it takes the same amount of time as a regular pizza. But it was at the Delta Terminal in La Guardia, so it's Pizza Hut Express. Everything quick for you, whatever you want. I get your pepperoni, you want pepperoni, I get for you, yeah. 
So I've been in this country for over 35 years, so when I hear Spanish, I like to speak it. So I was waiting in line with a whole bunch of world travelers, and this woman, who was behind the counter, speaking Spanish, had her back to me. She was three feet away from me, just over the counter. I could have flicked her ponytail <laughs> to get her attention, but that's not socially acceptable behavior. You don't do that. Well done, son. <laughs> so instead, I just asked her in Spanish for a slice of pepperoni and a bottle of water. Por favor, me das una botella de agua y un pedazo de pepperoni. Nobody else said that. All she had to do was turn around and answer the guy that just talked to you, honey. She turned around because I didn't look like what she thought I was going to look like. She created an alternate universe. Where the sound that came from behind her didn't. <laughs> she looked at me and went, no, no, no. <laughs> looked at the black gentleman next to me wearing a Kansas City Chiefs hat and did the same thing. No, no, no. And answered the Indian from India who wasn't even looking at her because he looked the most Latino. She had a competition in her mind, white guy, black guy, and apparently he's a wizard from Hogwarts and can throw his voice. He's Jeff Dunham from Mumbai without the puppets. How did he just do that? And I learned something about Indians that day. Indians that live in the United States from India do not like to be mistaken for Latinos. Did you know that? He grew, his day was ruined. I do not speak this. Como te llamas, okay? No, I shall cut it. I shall cut it. No, Prankash, don't even begin with Surendra. Surendra, where is Hadza? Dinesh. Ever since I come to New York, everybody come to me like, Como te llamas? Como te llamas? Okay, I'm not Dominican. I'm not Puerto Rican, I'm not Mexican. Yes, I like the food, it's delicious. <laughs> yes, I like the music, I like to move and move. I hear you know, I, that's a joke, that was a joke. Everything else is factually based, I, I elaborated. <laughs> it gets better, I'm not even lying. The black gentleman with the Kansas City Chiefs hat was from Kensington, England. Did anybody see that one coming? <laughs> you speak Spanish awfully well. I'm trying to cause a man. Can you guide me? This one must have thought the end of the world was happening. Like right there. The white guy speaks Spanish, the Latino doesn't, and the black gentleman's an extra from Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. It's my time. Thank you.